that's ready, we'll uh, get started with the big announcement. Uh, sorry for dimming the lights, but the first part of my speech was actually organised yesterday. Can you hear me okay without that? Yeah. So the first part of the, um, my speech was organised yesterday when it was overcast and rainy. And so we... <laughs> <laughs> I think Dave's had enough drinks, Mark. <laughs> so, um, so the first part is actually a video presentation. So we might just skip over the video presentation. Is it? Can anybody? Can everybody see it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'll, I'll turn the volume up on it. Hello, my name is Lynn Gorn, and this is my artwork celebrating the Clarence. My inspiration for this artwork um, was enjoying the beauty and the serenity of the Clarence while sipping a beautiful glass of red wine with my friends. Thank you. Hello, I'm Michelle. Um, I've created this work, River Street 2462, uh, to be part of the exhibition. I love our Clarence Valley, and I know that each of us has our own unique perspective of the space that we're in. When I viewed this photo and its perspective of our area, I was just driven to paint it. So after talk, speaking with the art, the photographer, um, Susan Paulson, we agreed to put it together, beautiful watercolour for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm uh, Roy Ellery. I'm uh, a woodworker out of the Clarence Valley. Moved here uh, 15 years ago and intended by the river, the size of the river. And this is my interpretation of the Clarence River moving from the cane fields up through the beaches onto beaches with drift sand and, the, and then eventually into the waves and uh, the creatures that live in the waves. Hi, I'm Stacey from Edge and this is my work, Pepper Barks at Pillar Valley. I created this work after seeing these lovely paper bags on the way home from Woolland one day. Hi, my name is Sue Baker. This is my entry for our clearance. I've called it just with a dot, dot, dot. Um, my inspiration for this was obviously the bushfires that happened um, prior to the recent floods, which, well, haven't done a painting on that yet because it's only still receding. Okay, so with the bushfires, we know that there was a, a massive problem with a lot of wildlife and um, koalas apparently, you know, unfortunately being at risk. And I just wanted to create something that emoted, let's help, which we do, I know, we help our wildlife, but it's just the innocence that, that of Mother Nature and her beings and, and sometimes we just forget that they're always out there every second of every hour living their lives. So yeah, I try, I'm trying to create a bit of emotion in this piece. It is um, done with all acrylics. It's a little bit outside what I normally do. I usually tend to uh, abstract bright flowers under the sea birds. So the yeah, the outline, outlay for this one is totally different to what I normally do, and I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, that's my story. Hi, I'm Suzanne Mono, and this is my painting River Glimpses, Ashby, inspired by the tall gum trees along the Clarence River at Ashby, New South Wales. Three. Hi, I'm Annie Roberts, um, and I live in Wallopa, and I'm uh, part of a group of people who exhibit in the Island Crematorium. Um, this work of mine is called Shark Bay. Um, Shark Bay is on the way into Iluka and there's been a lot of um, inundation of, of, the, of the sea along there. I was down there probably about a month ago, two months ago with my family who were visiting and it was an overcast day and it was the colours, the pinks and the, um, the browns, just the range of colours that were available there that inspired me to do uh, three works about Shark Bay. This is the second one I did, I think, the 
first one I went down, and it was just as the rains had started to come. And I thought I had a gap to these wonderful canvas down. <coughs> Marks because it was raining and then it rained and I went home with it all dribbling. But anyway, um, I went back and did a few more sketches and so I got this work and two others. Um, there's lots of things in the current going to inspire an artist um, and it's also inspiring to have a lot of artists in the current. Hi, my name is Cassandra Palmer. Um, I am an artist from Clarence Valley, from Grafton. Um, this is the work that I'm putting into um, the Al Clarence exhibition. It's called uh, From the Mulberry Tree. It is um, a work that started out when my family and I were sitting at the pub at Brush Grove and there were some wild mulberry trees along the a bank of the river. And I climbed down and we had a big feed of mulberries and the overripe ones we took home and stained the paper. Um, and from there I sort of cut it up and added some other bits and pieces and lots and lots of stitching so I get really sore fingers with the thick paper. But yeah, that's about it. Hi, my name's Dave Sparks. I'm a former tracks photographer and rip curl photographer. I'm walked in watercolours over the last few years. I do that full time now, based on the Byron Shire, but I've got a lot of history with the Clarence region, being a mad surfer, I've always loved Angour in this whole area. And this work, um, it's a watercolour of mine called uh, Clarence Gumtree, and it's pretty much inspired by the beauty of this area and, and the diversity of the area, especially you when know, I was really open a couple of years ago, the first trip up towards Grafton Gorge and the upper Clarence, and the difference in the gums up there and the, and the difference in the, in the terrain. And basically the, the progression from the coast to that area, and this is this is painted about halfway between the coast and Grafton Gorge, a little tributary of the Clarence, which I couldn't tell you the name of. Um, and we just saw it on the way to the gorge and I had to pull over and do a few sketches and then finish this in the studio a little while later. So hope you guys like it and thanks for voting for me. If you do, if you don't, <laughs> well, you'll learn. <laughs> is in my backyard. I made it using watercolour, ink and coloured pencil and I created this work because I just love pink parrots. Birds are my favourite animals and I just really wanted to try and catch their beauty. Hi, my name's Linda Freilich Anderson and I've just brought in this um, painting that I only completed about a week ago. I was inspired when we um, took our dinghy, my husband and I took the dinghy up the Esk River, which is in Bunjalung National Park, and it was just absolutely beautiful. Um, the water lilies really attracted me. Um, there are also uh, still some burnt trunks of trees, but basically the, um, the National Park has recovered since the fires last year. Um, the colours were extraordinary, and I was also attracted to the reflections um, it was a really, really beautiful trip up the river, so that's why I was inspired to paint it. Um, I usually draw or paint from life, um, whether it's on land or sea, I'm a sailor as well. Um, I also like to draw um, the human form. Um, anything that I can see around me, basically, I love to draw or paint in my own way. Hello, my name is Lynn Gorn. And this is my artwork celebrating the Clarence. She was first. My inspiration for this artwork. So, thank you all very much for coming today. Um, that was a a bit of an, an insight into the direction that the gallery will be going in the future. And I'd like to thank all the artists that participated in creating um, that little promo video. So, um, yeah, yeah, well done, everyone. So, uh, so, so welcome to Coldstream Gallery. My name's Steve. Um, along with Mark, we own the Coldstream Gallery in Almara. And I'd like to start off by acknowledging the Yagel people, the traditional custodians of these lands on which this gathering is taking place, and pay tribute and respect to the elders, both past and present, of the Bunjalung, 
Gumbangia and Yagel Nations, which lie within the council boundary. Um, I'd like to thank all the artists and artisans that brought in such amazing work to this, our first ever Our Clarence exhibition. And it was a bit daunting setting up an exhibition like this, never having done it before, especially with having prize money during plunge, during a pandemic, but we, we got there and the work that's been brought in is just phenomenal. And I, I'm so proud of the quality of the work that our, our local artists and artisans are creating. Uh, as you may have noticed from the exhibition, the work is varied. It's, we have paintings, we have charcoal, we have pastels, we have woodwork, steel, stone, fabrics, jewellery. The, 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 the range is amazing and um, it just goes to show the, the variety of uh, artisans and artists that we have in this valley and it's just, it's, uh, it's just amazing to see. Uh, it would have been very hard for the people that decided to vote for a piece to do that voting. I personally abstained from voting. Uh, I found it difficult and my oh. favourite changed every day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even though the variety of work is so vast, um, there is a common theme. And the common theme in the exhibition is it's our Clarence. The exhibition is called Our Clarence and everything is inspired by the Clarence Valley. So our goal with this gallery from the very start, from day one, from when we opened those front doors on the 1st of April 2017, our goal has been to promote local artists and local artisans. And I think by having this exhibition on, calling it our Clarence and having everything inspired by the Clarence Valley, it just really fits with the, our goals for this, for this gallery. And um, by being able to promote our local talent, who, who I believe are amongst the best in, in the country, it's, a, it's an actual honour. Um, so everything in the exhibition is based on the Clarence Valley. Uh, most of the artists are from, if not the Clarence Valley, the Northern Rivers. So it's one big family. And everything in this building is Australian made. And we, we, so that's part of our ethos is just to just go local, go Australian, keep the carbon footprint down. Um, and by doing this, we actually expose our local artists who may have been exhibiting in markets or uh, cooperative galleries, a much broader audience. So by, by focusing on local artists and Australian made, and by, by moving to an online presence, we're allowing our local artists and artisans this much broader audience. And we, we now export works that were created here around the world. We've had works go to the United States. We've had works go to, go to Europe. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing and it's, uh, and it's really good to see. So the history of the Our Clarence event is this was actually scheduled to, to run last year. And uh, so back in 2019, we started planning for this event and it was called Our Clarence. And then two days before we were due to open, I think Dave Sparks, who's up the back there, he had his exhibition on in the gallery as the government was announcing basically a, a national lockdown. So Dave rushed down from Byron, collected his works, exhibition cancelled, everybody stay at home, nobody do anything. Uh, so a lot of people have created work for that exhibition. Uh, so it was very disappointing from our perspective to not be able to do that exhibition that time around. So we decided 2021, no matter what, this exhibition will go ahead. We, <laughs> this, this exhibition is going to happen. We're going to have an opening. We're going to have an exhibition. And we're going to have uh, an, a winner's announcement, regardless of borders opening and closing, nuclear wars, <laughs> floods, storms, tsunami, pestilence. It's going to occur. So we started thinking how we could proactively be prepared for that, that sort of situation. So if the borders closed, if, if Almara was locked down because of an incident, so we decided to try to virtualise or have a mechanism in place to virtualise the exhibition if we had to. So one of the things we did when artists were bringing their work in, we didn't let them know that we would be asking to record them, but we did. We, we had a camera ready and a microphone ready and as the work was coming in, we'd spring it on the artists and, um, and say like, it'd be really nice if you could do a little one minute video, introduce yourself, introduce your work, um, and then we'll be able to, to show people 
you know, what who you are, what you've done, and why you've done it. And some of the some of the artists, we had I think thirteen artists decided that they would partake in that, and quite a few of those artists are here today. Some artists decided for whatever reasons to not be part of part of that that modernisation of um, art and culture in the Clarence Valley. Some of those artists <laughs> Um, so, so you'll notice that when you're looking through the exhibition, there's QR codes underneath some of the pictures, and those QR codes allow you to watch those videos. So underneath, underneath Grace Dawley's uh, picture, there's a QR code which allows you to directly look at Grace telling you about her work. And same with, with Roy and Dave and a few, a few other, other artists, Sus, have all got their QR codes underneath their work. So people can walk in, interact with it, and watch this video. And the, the ulterior motive for that was if nobody was allowed to come into the building, we, would, we could have a photo of that work on our website and it would be very, very boring. So it was our first attempt to virtualise an exhibition. And we, we didn't have to go too much further because we're free to move around. But that was the start of the virtualisation. And today we're broadcasting this awards ceremony live because a lot of people, we had about 300 votes during the exhibition. A lot of those people are travellers or they've got other things on today. They can't see who won. So we're broadcasting this live on our, on our Facebook so that they can still be part of it and find out who won in the end. Um, the videos are actually all going to be hosted or are hosted on YouTube. So Coldstream Gallery now have a YouTube channel. And if anybody wants to watch their video in the future or if they've sold a piece and they'd like to remember what it looked like, they can now go to YouTube and have a look at themselves and their, and their work and they can share that with their friends and family. And our goal or our hope is that in the future, more works in the main gallery space will also have QR codes. And we, we can have um, artist biographies as a QR code. So Suze Monin could have a QR code next to her work. People can log in, they can, they can scan the code and watch Suze talking about her work and what, what, how she got here as an example. So we want to, we want to try to bring the gallery into the 21st century and virtualise more and more things to allow more and more people to be aware of what we're doing here in the Clarence Valley. Uh, so this was our first ever competition exhibition with $500 prize money. And it's, um, it was a real, it was, it's been an interesting process to go through, but we've already got a sponsor for next year. So we thought this may be the first and only time we run it, but it looks like we're being pressured by corporate Australia <laughs> to, 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 uh, to actually do it again next year. And it, it's really, really good. So we've got one sponsor on board. They actually came to us wanting to sponsor the event next year. So I'm, I think we may end up with even more sponsorship. So this event will more than likely occur next year. So if you're not already a subscriber to our mailing list, make sure you go to our website, subscribe to our newsletter, and then if it does, when it does, go ahead next year, you'll be the first to know and you can start creating work. So, uh, we are nearly ready to announce the winners of this year's event. I think Mark, would you like to come down and help me hand out these, uh, these awards? Oh, by the way, the food today, we were catered for by the Omara Food Company right next door. So this is all local Clarence Valley food. As with our opening night, it was all local food, local music, local art. Same thing today, but even more local, it's from right next door. So please eat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't stop eating. So I would like to just thank everybody that was part of this exhibition so far. And, uh, today and um, just once again to say how proud I am of the quality and, and just the amazing work and the feedback we've received has been huge. So I would just like to start off by uh, handing out our third place prize. So there was a lot of voting and it was really, really, really close. Third place, um, I would like to present to Dave Sparks. Oh, Congratulations. Second place, 
I would like to announce that this award goes to Stu Murphy. <laughs> First place with a, a large number of votes um, goes to Roy Allery. <laughs> But uh, you know, it was it was. I'm proud of being part of it, and certainly the exhibition was uh, is excellent. Uh, and it's nice now to actually. I said to the boys earlier on on our opening night, it might have been nice to uh, actually see those videos because there were a big crowd here, and there was a lot of people I didn't know who did what sort of work, and uh, it would have been nice to question them then. So. But anyway, it might be something for next year. But uh, uh, thanks again. Thanks for everybody coming. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.